So I wrote a new book. The name of this book is Risking Life for Death, Lessons for the Living from the Autopsy Table. I don't want to give too much away about this book. So firstly, I was in a very weird mood when I wrote this book because I was feeling dissatisfied with what I've been seeing in the world of late. This book contains many case studies from 20 years of work as a forensic pathologist. And it's been like a thousand piece puzzle that I've put together and only at the end when one stands back and looks from above does one get a picture of the puzzle of what I've been busy with and I think I've discovered what makes humans tick I think I've hacked the human I started off with this book with a principle a very well-known forensic principle called low cards exchange principle which is the law of interchange every contact leaves a trace you go to a death scene, you'll leave something there and you'll come away from the death scene with something from the death scene. So every contact leaves a trace. And this is how we catch murderers. And then one day I thought to myself, wait a minute, if this is such a pervasive, powerful principle and it really extends throughout forensics, can we apply this to our lives? Can we use low cards exchange principle to make us maybe happier people? And can we use low cards exchange principle for a better philosophy for growing older because if you really critically think about it we as forensic pathologists we look for signs of of stuff and all these signs can be traced and tracked back to origin so knowing this we realize that you are the end result of all your contacts in life every meal you've eaten everything you've drank the people you surround yourself with, every podcast, every YouTube channel, every Instagram, every tweet, every pollen grain converge to make you who you are. It also can limit and constrain who you can become. You are the end result of all your contacts in life. Knowing this, you suddenly have an insight into how you tick. Let me tell you, your accent, you didn't just get your accent. Every contact leaves a trace. You come in contact with other people with an accent and you get your accent. Genocides. Genocides don't just start. There's a recipe for genocides. Recipe for genocides that follows low cards exchange principle. You can trace and track a genocide back to origin. Everything, how you get sick, follows low cards exchange principle. Almost everything can be traced and tracked back to origin. And this is what this book is about. It is a master class on low cards exchange principle, the law of interchange, otherwise known as contact theory. So how I came up with this book is over 20 years of autopsies, I've seen a lot of suicides and I've read hundreds of suicide notes. And having read all these suicide notes, I realized that there's only three themes why people kill themselves. These three themes are work, health, relationship problems. I call these the three battlefronts of life. Your work battlefront, your health battlefront, and your relationship battlefront. And all three of these battlefronts follow low cards exchange principle. Your work, your health, and relationships. You are the end result of all your contacts in life. This book explains everything you need to know about the art and science of living and it helps explain your time on earth here so i really would like to say try and get this book it gives you a great insight into humans and how you tick and how others tick risking life for death lessons for the living from the autopsy table